Hi everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's World, and it's Sunday, and every Sunday I do a What's Sold video. I'm a reseller on eBay and Poshmark. Uh, I've been reselling for a long time, however, just recently, well, not recently, the past three or four years I've been slowly doing it a little more seriously. So, hi Bumblebee. Uh, so it's Sunday, and every Sunday I tell you what I sold during the past week on both eBay and Poshmark. Uh, this past week, the first sort of week in April, I had five Poshmark sales and 24 eBay sales. Uh, my Poshmark sales are so slowly creeping up, even though they're having a trouble with their algorithm, I think. but. Um, I have Posher VA, which has helped them in, you know, tremendously since I started having that. Now I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look into the, this new thing called Flip. It's free. It does both. It lists, it cross lists, and it shares. So I have to look into this, and it's free. That's the big thing. That would be a big savings to me every month. Uh, and since my daughter wants to uh, sort of start on Poshmark, that's what was holding her back was the uh, fee for the cross listing. So now she'll be able to do it free. McThrifty uh, just put on a video all about it. And Hustle at Home Mom put one on a couple weeks ago all about it. So it's totally free. There is a waiting list starting to be on there. They said it's 7 to 10 day waiting list. So uh, I think I will get in line for that. But anyway, uh, yeah, I also have, I've been dabbling in a spreadsheet this week. That's what I'm doing differently, or maybe improve, making some improvements, uh, keeping my sales on a spreadsheet. I, I don't think that I will ever put my inventory on a spreadsheet. It's too late for me for that. I have like 20, I think almost 2,500 items in my inventory, so there's no way to... Uh, add that many into an inventory spreadsheet so but you can keep track of your sales and uh i'm going to try to do that uh i was i was playing around with numbers which is the free one that you get on apple and there's also the google docs one which is free uh for google on google so uh, we'll see which one works the best for me, but I, I am going to try to do that or at least learn how to use it again. I used to, when I had a, actually had a brick and mortar store a long time ago, I actually had Excel and I did spreadsheets, but I've forgotten how to use them now and all the formulas are probably a little different. But anyway, I sort of get the idea when I was playing around with it today. I'm sure I'll be able to learn it if I work at it. <laughs> but anyway, let's go, go on here and let me show you what I sold on these two platforms this past week. This goes from April 3rd to April 9th, which is a Sunday to a Saturday. And that's how I keep track. I'm going to share my screen. Okay, the first one up here is a Poshmark sale. This is uh, sort of a linen boxy type jacket with a zipper front. Uh, I think it had almost three, yeah, three quarter sleeves. It was a size eight by Poetry. That was a brand name, Poetry. And this sold on Poshmark for $19. 
And out of $19, Poshmark takes um, 20%. Now, if my Posher VA uh, offers them some off of their shipping, then it's more than 20%. So uh, the Posher VA sent them an offer and gave them a seller a shipping discount. So I made $12.52 on this little jacket. <clears throat> the next item is a uh, little, they call these short alls instead of coveralls. They're just a pair of shorts with the bib and the straps like overalls are. And uh, this is by Wallflower. It's a little uh, distressed denim uh, shorts and bib. And this was size medium. And they did definitely had some distressing on there. But they sold for $15.77, which was an offer I sent out to watchers. Now, out of that $15 um, after taking all the fees and everything, I netted $13.44 on these. This is not counting what I paid. This is not, I didn't figure what I paid. If I... My cost of goods are someplace between three and four dollars. These are probably three dollars. If you take three off of that, it would be ten forty-four that I would be netting. But I'm going to show you a, a page of a spreadsheet afterwards, which does totals and it also takes cost of goods off. So the for the full week. So for right now, I'll just tell you what I netted without cost of goods. <clears throat> this next piece I sold on eBay also. This is by Emmeline. Uh, it's a women's plus size. This is a 3X. And I, I've recolored with these uh, floral blue flowers with leaves. Three-quarter sleeves. And this sold for $15.83. And out of that, after fees and shipping, I uh, netted $13.22. Uh, this is a J. Crew over one shoulder. This was a silk little dress, all lined, had uh, sort of pleating on the bodice there. Uh, this was a dark blue in a size 12. And this sold for $18 best offer. Mm -hmm. And I netted $16.27. <clears throat> Here's a pair of men's decree jeans in a size 30 by 30. They were slim, uh, grunge, destroyed. Uh, those are the word keywords I used on there. And... Uh, they had some detailing on the back pockets, this, big, this cross. I don't know if that had sparkles on it or not. Maybe not. Maybe just uh, embroidery. But they were flat pockets. They uh, this sold for $25.51, which was the sale price. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't tell where these things are going to. Uh, that's mostly my... I, I'm just interested in where things go, but... Uh, this went to Indianapolis, Indiana. The other things went to, a couple things went to Florida. And the little short alls went to Tennessee. So, yeah. Uh, Bumblebee, here are these little bracelets that you sent me. These were uh, stainless steel, but they were in sort of a, rose gold color there were seven it was a seven piece bangle bracelet i put them on for 18.99 and that's what they sold for and i netted 17 dollars and 44 cents minus the cost which was only a dollar something i believe from that box that you or no i think this isn't a regular one of your boxes so maybe uh maybe another three dollars off however i always make 
I didn't take this into account when I did the spreadsheet. I'll have to figure this, this in. I always make a little bit on shipping. So sometimes I make a dollar. Sometimes I make under a dollar. Sometimes I make up to four dollars on bigger items. So sometimes that sort of takes care of your cost of goods. Uh, but anyway, these bracelets uh, sold. I had waited a while to put these on. I really didn't know what to charge for them. And I just put them on for $18.99 and they sold. Here is something from Poshmark. This sold on Poshmark. This is a J. Crew slip-on silk, silk blouse. It had little anchors uh, as a, these little dots are little anchors. And it had a button detailing at the shoulder there. This sold for $26. And uh, my uh, earnings out of that was $20.80. <clears throat> that went to McDonough, McDonough, Georgia. Here's this little dress. I just put this on not too long ago. This is this sparkly dress, like a little cocktail dress. And the name of this brand is Be Darling, or Be Darling, <laughs> which is sort of a, a strange name, Be Darling. <clears throat> it's a little cheesy, but... Uh, was pretty this little sparkly dress and it sold it sold shortly after i put it on for $28.99 and i netted $26.01 and out of that and it went to longs south carolina <clears throat> uh this little skirt is by a brand called Monkey Wear. It's all different uh, kinds of fabric in the pleats. Each pleat is a different type of a fabric. Not only just a different pattern, it's different types also. But this is like a little short skirt, uh, panel skirt in a size 14. Uh, and it's sold for $16.99, no, $16 the regular price. And I knitted $15.99 minus my cost <coughs> of goods on that. I also made, though, $2 on shipping. So that's what I mean. It's really hard to figure out. That's why I'm not putting cost of goods on here, because I almost make back my cost of goods on shipping. When eBay, you get such a good deal on eBay's labels. Now, here's a book that was mine for years, Cross Train Your Horse. Um, this was like a bigger book, like 11 by 14. It was heavy. I did not charge shipping on this. I did this free shipping and because it goes media mail. However, I noticed I haven't sold media mail for a few weeks, and I noticed media mail was one of the things that went up a little bit. So... Uh, four dollars and forty five four four dollars and forty five cents it cost me to ship this so I made about ten dollars on this book but that's all right I didn't have any cost of goods and uh yeah media mail used to be three dollars and something all the time I mean you could have really heavy things on this but um uh, I forget how much this weighed, but it didn't weigh over two pounds, I'm sure. <clears throat> Jones of New York Capris. This women's linen pants in a 16 women's. This is little tiny, like a seersucker. They were pull-on pants with an elastic back and this tie in the front. Uh, cool for the summer. And those sold for $18 best offer. And I net, netted $16.32, and they went to Amherst, Virginia. By the way, the book went to Worcester, Ohio, right near me here. <laughs> okay, I sold a pair. I sold a couple pairs of shoes. 
Uh, Mark Fisher, I've had these for quite a while. These are strappy four inch heel boot, uh, not boots, shoes, heels in a brown vegan leather in a size eight medium. Um, they sold for $20 best offer. I netted $18.05. Now these went to a military base in California. I hadn't had this happen before and you have to fill out or they fill out a customs form for some reason. I'm, I still don't know, but um, I have a customs form that I had to uh, sort of fill in the blanks. And yeah, so it looks like they went to a military base in California. So I made actually almost two dollars on the shipping on this so that's what i mean about the shipping always use ebay labels <laughs> another pair of shoes these were a men's johnson and murphy uh in really good condition these were uh, an ebay sale they were size men's 11 and a half with a tassel they're loafers with the tassels on them, and they sold for $18 best offer, and I netted $17.27, and I also made nine, $4 plus that, $4 on shipping. So uh, my cost of goods was pretty much zero then. This cute little dress, I this uh, took a little while to sell, but it was really attractive, I think. This by Jessica Howard. It was a petite, uh, 10 petite, had a black and white pattern, and this beautiful grow grain ribbon pink bow there. It was a belt, but it was made out of ribbon. And this sold for $15, best offer. I netted $12.40. And I just made 50 cents on the shipping on this one. And it went to Waukegan, Illinois. <clears throat> Here's a Poshmark sale. And I do believe that I got this beautiful scarf from Bumble in one of Bumblebee's boxes. This was, uh, had tassels all, I think it was a big square scarf. And I showed on the mannequin different ways that you could, uh, different ways you could wear it. You could actually wear it like a halter top. But I showed that and I said it could be used many different ways and it sold for $18. And out of that $18, I netted $14.40. Here's a pair of Tommy Hilfiger jeans. These were a size 40 uh, by 32, and uh, they were quite heavy. In fact, I had to put these in a box. They, couldn't, they could not fit in a padded flat rate. Uh, straight leg jeans. I thought I would get more for these, but they had a big Tommy patch there. On, well, it doesn't show the back, does it? I wonder why I didn't show the back. It has a big up there. No, up here it had a big Tommy patch on it, but um, Tommy Hilfiger just doesn't do real well for me, but they sold for $18 best offer, and out of that, I got $15.41. I made like a dollar on shipping also, and they went to New York, New York. Next thing is a little lucky brand blouse had sort of like short sleeves with cuffs on and a striped real cool looking blouse for summer. Uh, and that sold these sold or this sold for $22.49, which was the asking price or the sale price. And I netted $19.87. And let's see, I made about a dollar shipping. On shipping 
on that. Where'd it go? Livingston, Montana. Uh, here's a little piece. I don't know where I got this, to tell you the truth. This was a little uh, lingerie or top of a night like pajamas, I think it was. It said nightgown, but it was hardly long enough to be a nightgown, I don't think. Uh, I forget the length of this, but uh, it was a plus size, 2X, uh, cotton blend with these little spaghetti straps and sold for $8.09. And I netted $6.56 and I made another 40 cents on shipping. And it went where? LJ, Georgia. This is a Talbot's open cardigan sweater, women's in a 2X navy blue. I think this is one, no, I still have mine. I was going to say it looks like the one that I kept for a while, but this would have been a little too big. Uh, I do have one very similar to this that I wear once in a while. Uh, this sold for $24.29. Where are we here? $24.29, which was the sale price. Um I made another $2 on shipping, and I netted, before that, I netted $21.86 plus another couple dollars. But I haven't taken off cost of goods, so <clears throat> I have to get this straightened out somehow. <laughs> uh, this is a dress uh, called Metro Style. Uh, women's size 10 long sleeve. This is real stretchy. Had low V neck on both the front and the back. And I think it was a crossover. Had a tie there on the side in this maroon color. And it's uh, sold for $15.29, which was the sale price. I'm netted $11.65. And I actually lost money on this shipping because this must have been on a while and it was before I, I fixed my shipping when the shipping went up. So I lost about 85 cents on shipping on this one. So not as good. <clears throat> and this went to where? Tallahassee, Florida. Jones, New York Sport. This, these Bermuda shorts I just got in a box from Bumblebee. This was the plaid and paisley box that I just got. Uh, it was a new with tags, plus size, or a women's size 16, not plus size, in this blue and yellow plaid. And they sold for a sold for $24.64, which was the sale price. And I netted $21.44. And I also made a dollar shipping. Uh, Brooks Brothers, a tie, finally. I have hundreds of ties upstairs. They slow, they sell every just every once in a while. I have some beautiful ties. Uh, this is a Brooks Brothers 346 silk striped tie. Uh, and it sold for, by the way, that uh, those Bermuda shorts went to Tucson, Arizona. This tie went to Winchester, Virginia, and it sold for $11.99. And out of that, uh, this had free shipping on it, so I only netted $6.78 on this tie. But the ties that I buy at my Goodwill are usually under a dollar by the time I take my coupon. 35% off. So I get ties really inexpensively. <clears throat> this next uh, item is a Poshmark sale, American Eagle Outfitters, this little jacket. Uh, this is a connected piece. It looks like a uh, denim vest over like a sweatshirt hoodie, but they, it's all connected. And it had uh, the metal buttons and everything. This was cute, but it was in a small size. Uh, it sold for the $19. Went to Benslam, 
Pennsylvania, and my Pasha VA sent out an offer. So I they also paid a shipping discount, um, got a shipping discount. So I actually only made $12.52 on this little jacket. Here's another um, Poshmark sale. I've had these a while. Ander Geller is a really good brand of shoes, but these sat and sat probably because of the pandemic and nobody was going to the office anymore. And these are definitely office -y type shoes, aren't they? Uh, they were a dark navy blue with this uh, thicker high heel. Uh, three inch heel and they sold for $22. They went to Jacksonville, Florida. They were in a size six and my Pasha VA sent them an offer and I made $14 and 92 cents on those shoes. The next thing is the Speedo one piece suit that I had just put on. I think I, it was on a day and I sold it. Uh, $20.39. Here's what happened with this. Somebody sent me a low offer on this, uh, like, I don't know, $12 or something. And I sent them back an offer that was really close to my asking price. And she declined it. So immediately after it was declined, I got an offer for the full sale amount, $20.39. So... It wasn't her, but these went to Atlantic Beach, uh, Florida, and I made $18.68 net on those, and I actually made $2 more on shipping. <clears throat> this is a pair of men's Old Navy uh, size 38 Bermuda shorts, and uh, they had some flex in them, so I think they were cotton and spandex. But anyway, they sold for $16.99, the sale price. I netted $13.79, and I only made actually four cents on shipping, <laughs> but it was a plus four cents. Uh, the next thing is this Catherine's crop cardigan, like a little shrug. Uh, I didn't put this on for much because it just looked yellow. I did wash this and try to get this yellow. It just looked yellow to me, especially around the border here. So I did put it on for a sort of a low price, and then it went on sale for eleven oh four. Somebody bought it for that in Sarasota, Florida, and um, I made about fifty cents on shipping on that. And uh, yeah, I don't have. <laughs> Oh my, a double whammy. <laughs> uh, I didn't write down here what I uh, netted on this one. Uh, I don't know why I skipped that one for some reason. This might have been out of a bag from my daughter because she has oodles of Catherine's items. So I don't know. Maybe. And here's my favorite hat. Although I don't wear hats baseball caps but I use I kept this on my my mannequin head thing because I just thought it was a neat hat uh, it was sort of a distressed uh, type of sort of a faded type of rust colored it was a neat looking hat anyway well somebody bought it because uh, wouldn't it be funny if I sold a whole bunch of baseball caps because of that style video uh, that came out that said baseball caps are going to be big, big, big uh, for this summer. But anyway, I sold this for $16.99, the regular price. I netted $13.38. And I don't know. I didn't put down what I shipped this for. It wasn't free shipping. But it probably probably cost for some I probably lost another a dollar on this shipping not sure because I didn't write it down for some reason 
And the last thing is this uh, cashmere sweater by Lord & Taylor, uh, sleeveless turtleneck. This had a tiny little hole in the back under the turtleneck. You couldn't really see it. And I put it on the, on, um, on the listing and somebody did buy it for $20.50. I did accept that offer because of that. And that went to Arlington, Massachusetts. And um, I netted $22.89. Now, how can that be? You know, I've been saying all along. I've been telling you what they paid for. I haven't been telling you the actual. <laughs> I'll get better next time. This went for, uh, actually with shipping, it goes for $26.35. That's what they actually pay. And I netted $22.89. Uh, I've just been saying it wrong, but... Anyway, I'm going to see if I can get this uh, sharer thing to share my spreadsheet. I don't know if I can do this or not, but if I can, that would be really neat. But that's what I sold this week. Uh, let's see. Can you see this? Can you see this spreadsheet? Uh I can't see what you're saying. So anyway, I'm just going to uh, read this like you were seeing it. <laughs> I hope you can see this. Anyway, this is a little spreadsheet I'm working on. It's uh, I was I copied it off of Kaylee Eileen or Kaylee Elaine, I think her name is, because uh, I liked her little spreadsheet that she does every week. So on eBay, I sold, that shouldn't have a, I have to fix that. That shouldn't have a dollar mark. Uh, items sold, 24. Uh, gross sales on eBay, $623.39. The average sale price, $25.97. And eBay shipping, uh, the shipping fees and eBay fees came to, $213.81. Now we'll get to totals in a minute. On Poshmark, I sold five items, uh, gross sales of $104. The average sale price on Poshmark was $20.80. And Poshmark fees came to $17.60. Now the totals, totals I sold, I sold 29 items in all. The gross sales were $727.39. So the average sale price of both platforms together, $25.08. Now, with my estimated cost of goods, here's where I put it. My estimated cost of goods was $101.50. So that brings me to a weekly net of $625.89. Now that's not counting the little bit more I get back on shipping. So actually I would have netted a little bit more than that, but that's what we're going with. I hope you can see this spreadsheet. I'll know when I get back here, uh, when I stop the sharing. Because <clears throat> I can't see your comments till I get back here. Oh, you still see. Oh. Yeah, right. I thought of doing this. If I close that, if I close that board or that whole thing with the, uh, I think you could see it. Let's try it. I'm going to try it. Let's share again. And see if I can just share the spreadsheet. Now, can you see that? Because I can see you now. Can you see the spreadsheet now? <clears throat> it should be right up front there. 
If not, I'll try to close the other window. <clears throat> That'll close in a minute. We'll see. Okay, can you see this spreadsheet now? Uh, yes. Okay, that's how I have to do it. All right, this is the spreadsheet, but this item sold, this number here can't have a dollar sign in front of it. It's supposed to just be 24, and this is supposed to be 5, and over items sold totals is 29. But that's easy to fix. So, yeah, so I will do this spreadsheet every week. That's my improvement for the week. And, uh, yeah, it sort of shows the numbers better. I don't know if I can actually figure out how to do the... I can add up how much I make on shipping, I suppose, and uh, do it that way. So... Yeah, that was good. Let me try to get back here. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, numbers, not my thing. <laughs> I have such a hard time. I'm just glad taxes are done with. I'm so worried that my daughter isn't going to get to the tax guy on time. I'm done reminding her because she gets too stressed. So, uh, yeah. For some reason, I heard that taxes are due on the 18th instead of the 15th. Is there some holiday or something that I'm not thinking about? Is it Martin Luther King Day or something? I'm not sure. Uh, taxes. I thought I heard taxes due on the 18th and not the 15th. I don't know. That's true. Good work on the spreadsheet and getting to know your numbers. <laughs> yeah. As long as I can get that cost of goods uh, figured out and the uh, and what I'm making a little bit more on the shipping, I have to figure out how to do that quickly. Because <clears throat> this took me forever to do, let me tell you. This took me a couple days to get this together. But anyway, I'm I'm still doing uh, six or seven uh, listings off of drafts, and then I put another six or seven into drafts for the next day. Like I already have, um, I think I've drafted three. I have three more to draft three or four more to draft here, sitting here, and then that'll be done for tomorrow. So that seems to be working for me. I would like to get a whole week of drafts on there, but I don't know. I can't sit still enough. Uh, oh, yes, it is the 18th. Good. I don't think I'm going to tell her that, though, because <laughs> she'll just put it off further. <clears throat> Uh, my grandson or his mother sent me a picture of him. He works on a little farm. It's a little petting zoo farm. And he uh, takes care of, uh, I think, a horse and a sheep. And she sent me pictures that she took today. And unfortunately, my barn is, is far from them. It would take like 40 minutes to get there. And I'm sure my grand, my daughter-in-law doesn't want to drive him there. This is within probably 10 minutes of his house <clears throat> where he works. But uh, he goes there once a week, I think. I think it's part of a school project, actually. But he loves doing it. Believe me, if I could get him to go to my barn, I would let him take care of my horse. He could go there twice a week. Or maybe just once a week and do some grooming and, you know, pay attention. And, uh, yeah. Right now I have a girl at the barn. She does that for me. 
<laughs> make sure he's groomed well because they're shedding at the moment and they have to be de-shedded with, with what you call a shedding blade. It just grabs the under hair and uh, gets it out of there. It makes a shedding uh, process last uh, not quite as long. Believe me, when you do this to a horse, it's like hair all around on the floor. It looks like a uh, looks like you sheared a sheep. But it's over and over and over again you can do this. Uh, you wouldn't believe it, but they grow a huge amount of undercoat hair for this for the winter to keep them warm. And then that under hair, when they get cold, it stands up. Uh, it stands up and acts like an insulation. It tra let tra traps the air in under their uh, top coat and acts almost like a da down jacket would act, like down on a chicken or down on a goose. So um, there's a walker out there and he has a walking stick, sort of like mine. Uh, yeah, so that's how horses keep warm. Well, a lot of animals with that undercoat that, that gain a lot of hair in the winter. Uh, horses are meant to be outside, really. And uh, I don't put coats on my horses, my horse, in the winter. Because when you, I used to, I used to put coats on the horses, but where I have my horse now for a long time, she knows a tremendous amount about horses. And she explained to me that when you put a blanket on a horse, it holds their hair down so it can't puff up like that. And actually, excuse me, actually they can be uh, colder with a coat on than they are if you didn't put a coat on. And they let nature take its course and, uh, you know, let the hair do what it's supposed to do. So anyway, that's your horse lesson for today. <laughs> yeah. Where'd she go? She went back out there again. She would like to go back outside. It's nice and sunny. <clears throat> I know she wants me to come out and let her run. It's still so cold out. I think tomorrow, though, it's supposed to get warmer. So I let her run like crazy tomorrow. Uh, my girl is coming tomorrow. The girl that cleans my house every other week, and then she comes every in the in the between weeks, and we do other things around the house like organization. And this week we're going to work outside if it's nice. I think it's supposed to be nice. And we're going to break down a whole bunch of boxes. Half of my garage is filled with boxes. I save the ones I think I can use, but it's still, I have to get these boxes out of here. So they have to be broken down and then taken out to the garbage. That's why she's coming tomorrow, because my garbage day is Tuesday morning, <clears throat> like super early. So Monday night is when I take out my garbage. So that's what she's going to help with tomorrow. So anyway, uh, that's my video for Sunday. And I will, good to hear about Jack and that, yeah. <laughs> uh, my granddaughter, when she was little, when, I mean, she was old enough to start taking riding lessons. She took a few riding lessons, but it was just too far for them to come, and she never kept up with it. Uh, she was just a little girl back then, the age when girls fall in love with horses. But we had hoped that that would happen, but she just couldn't, didn't have a way to get out there. So if everything gets, wait a minute here, if everything gets finalized, your boys will be heading your way to Cincinnati for their masters. Whoa. <clears throat> That's great. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, wow. <clears throat> so, yeah, I have, neither of my kids went to college even. They were not academic kids at all. But my grandkids are super smart. They're in all the uh, ex the overachievers classes, both of them. They're both straight A students, have been from they, when the, they started schooling. And it's probably from their mother, from when they were little tiny, took them to the library all the time. They still are avid readers. They love to read. And they read so many books and read all the time. So that probably had something to do with it. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel I was a very good mother. But that's another neither here nor there it's too late now they're on their own so i'm going to close for now and uh we'll be back if i get another box or i will go shopping in the next few days after i get these uh blue box things uh at least taken pictures of and ready to draft I will go shopping and hopefully I can get an appointment to get my hair cut but she's usually backed up for a week or two so that's not going to happen by next week so I'll close for now thank you so much for coming and Randy's here too uh, yeah good so I will uh be back in the middle of the week sometime. Keep an eye out for me. Bye.